Hello guys, we've already heard something disaster, something happened in Indonesia, in the islands of Java. It's something terrible, it's catastrophic, it's unparalleled. Everybody has heard of this. This is what I'm talking about, tsunami. Tsunami is a serious disaster, catastrophic. It is unparalleled. It kills tons of people in a moment. It is so much disastrous. You know, the water goes so high, it brings the tidal surge. When the earthquake takes place or something underwater happens like a volcanic eruption. So here in Jakarta, what happened? Volcanic eruption took place under the sea and that turned the tidal surge. A lot of people have already been reported dead. Over 222 people were officially killed by this tsunami. It hit on the Indonesian islands of Java and Sumatra. It also wounded 843 more people officially. Commonly what happens when the tsunami takes place, a lot of disaster, a lot of houses are burned, I mean damaged, everything comes in the way of the tidal surge is washed away and something in something terrible has also happened in this tsunami there was a local band there was music there was concert going on and this stage was washed away and one person one musician died and many others were missing we don't know what has happened to all those people so it is disastrous, it is very traumatizing, it's too dangerous. It has washed away hundreds of homes, <coughs> it has washed away many other buildings. So Java has been heavily damaged. 843 people were in wounded and over 222 people were dead. It took place on Saturday <coughs> along the rim of the Sundai Strait. It is too traumatizing, terrible. You, and it is what I th say is like an English film everybody knows. Mummy returns. All those ants, all those insects return. They enter into the skin of human beings, killing everybody. So here, whatever comes in the way of this uh, tidal surge because of tsunami kills right everyone is dead we are dangerous if you run if you fast run away then you are safe if you are there then you will be dead so tsunami returns like the english film mummy returns so what happens is that the uh, krakatoa the volcano volcanic eruption took place the name of the volcano is krakatoa it erupted it triggered underwater landslide you understand when when a volcano erupts a lot of fire gets out a lot of chemical a lot of things get out so it brought the underwater landslide and it this tsunami ultimately washed band members from stage this is disaster it stroke 14 years after boxing day tsunami and that boxing day tsunami killed 226,000 people in this affected area, debris from the damaged houses, the cars were overturned, trees were fallen, and they all blocked the roads. And it is visible by the foot TV footage. TV footage has played a vital role to understand all these damages, everything. And it has even shown every moment, even the local rock that was going on that was performing on an outdoor stage it was also washed away and it has been seen visible clearly visible by the help of TV footage and one musician killed in that disaster there and others were missing so authorities already warned the residents the tourists to remain very close to the uh, to to avoid the beaches they are supposed to stay away from beaches 
so authorities won't be residents and the tourists so that they don't stay in coastal areas they go away from beaches and there was a warning at the same time a high tide warning was there it was broadcast and people are supposed to stay away from the beach uh, until December 25 the head of the meteorological agency Rahmut Tiono he said uh, everybody please do not stay around the beaches around the Sunda Strait please get uh, away from this uh, beach those who have been evacuated should not return uh, if you l look back in 2004 it was on 26 December an Indian Ocean tsunami was triggered by an earthquake that had killed 226,000 people uh, in 13 countries and among them more than 120,000 people were uh, killed in Indonesia. A series of tsunamis uh, also killed a lot of people in 1883. It killed 33,000 people or more. It was because of the eruption of Krakatau. So this is the second disaster from the uh, volcano Krakatau. So head of the disaster mitigation agency in Pandeg Lang, Ednan Permata, he told Metro Television that police were trying to help get rid of the disaster to get the victims out of the area Tanjung Lesang in Batan province as emergency workers had not arrived in the beginning and this province is a popular tourist gateway not far from the capital it's very close to the capital city Jakarta and this province is very popular for the tourist attraction people a lot of people gather there and it is the winter season in this period of time a lot of visitors visit that place and unfortunately this this uh, took place in this uh, time so Parmana said uh, a lot of people are still missing even over 100 employees of the state utility company PLN they had gathered in Tangjiang Lesang for an end of year event so unfortunately that company people even were over 100 employees uh, were gathering there because there was an uh, end of year event there the tragedy will caught by television footage it was there it showed every second when a uh, web hit this concert the uh, people gathered there a lot of people were enjoying the concert and there were also performance there they washed away nobody knows what has happened to them so the death toll death toll has risen to 222 and it can go even much higher this is a ser serious consequence uh, it is quite visible that the stage was being washed away where local rock band 17 the name of the the, the name of the rock band was 17 and that rock band was performing music there and the band in a statement uh, said the water washed away the stage they saw it which was located very close to the sea you understand the most important tourist uh, places usually are around the sea so that people gather there enjoy have good time around this the beach I, the water rose and dragged away everyone at the location nobody knows what has happened to them they they said they have lost loved ones they have uh, lost their bassist and manager and the others were missing so catastrophic it was the disaster mitigation as it said it was still compiling information on the disaster and there was a possibility that data on the victims and damage that will increase uh, a lot disaster agency spokesman Sutopo Puro Nukru who said that the tsunami was caused by an undersea landslide resulting from volcanic activity on Anakrapakato 
so it was traumatizing it was serious it was all because of the landslide under the sea water when landslide took place because of the volcanic eruption the water went high and they the water started moving fast uh, like a tidal surge and that washed away a lot of them uh, people washed away the houses the constructions and that killed a lot of people and injured so many people at the same time and it was exacerbated by all abnormally high tide because of the current full moon so it was not because of the uh, volcanic eruption uh, but also because that was the full moon who told metro television that tsunami is triggered by volcano okay Dis disaster agency spokesman Sutopo Puro Nugroho said that the tsunami was caused by an undersea landslide resulting from volcanic activity on Anok Krakatoa and it was exasperated exacerbated by abnormally high tide because of the current full moon one thing is very important here this was mainly because of the uh, volcanic eruption but it was also uh, important that there was the full moon so when the uh, moon is bigger the moon is full uh, there's i mean the water gets little higher so the when the high tide takes place it means that the moon is full the closer the moon is the tide will be higher at the same time so as it was the full moon it also triggered a bit the tidal surge if the, it was not a moonlit night um, where if the moon was not near the uh, river sea it could have damaged little less Right, so Nugroho told Metro TV that tsunami is triggered by volcanic eruptions, but this time it's very rare. So usually the uh, tsunamis are triggered by volcanic eruptions, but this doesn't happen much. It happens frequently. What we see frequently is that the earthquake takes place and the water goes high, but this time uh, rarely uh, tsunamis are triggered by volcanic eruptions and that the Sunda state tsunami had not resulted from an earthquake. There was no earthquake and the Anakakato eruption also wasn't that big. So the eruption was not that big and there was no earthquake. So it could have damaged much l less than it had. So he also mentioned there were no significant seismic tremors to indicate a tsunami was coming. So it was an abrupt incident was very much sudden there was no focus there was no uh, consideration there was no warning that something terrible like this would happen so the eruption created a column of volcanic ash up to 500 meters high that is something serious the volcanic eruption uh, created a column of 